don't know what happened to my video, y'all. But I gotta do it again. I don't know how I start going in slow motion. But anyway, again, we in a food and resource desert. And I'm here to talk about the black overseer syndrome. The black overseer syndrome. We still got it to this day. Motherfuckers get in a little position and they wanna start tripping on black people. And a prime example of that shit happened here yesterday. I'm gonna tell y'all all about it. I went to Rite Aid to make a legitimate purchase with real money, okay? Paid for my shit, got a receipt, came out, and went over here where I shouldn't have went to some fucking Koreans, but they hire black folks. I'm like, all right, I'll make an exception. Spend a few dollars, not much though. Came in here to get, you know, couple things snacks fucking checks mix sunflower seeds simple shit so immediately the nigga at the door the security nigga ma'am 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 i'm ignoring the nigga because i already know what he's talking about so i'm just going going about my shopping the nigga run all up on me you gotta leave that stuff at the door that's store policy i said sir i'm not leaving my shit unattended for it to, for somebody that you ain't paying attention who gonna watch my shit you got cameras in the store to watch me. And if you want to follow me while I shop, nigga, feel free. So, shit, the nigga was all up on me. all Really all in my fucking face. Like he was going to do something. Like he going to really throw me out the store physically. So I'm like, sir, don't put your fucking hands on me, period. Like, that's out. You do that, sir, it's going to be a, a bigger problem than you thought. Your job ain't worth it. So, um, you know, he like, yeah, well, it's only black people act like that. I said, no, only in the black community do we have to be treated like fucking thieves and put our shit down and be under surveillance and get followed around the store and all this old shit. So you are being a pit bull for some fucking Koreans that don't give a fuck about me or you. You know what I'm saying? And it's just ridiculous. That man is a, a, a black overseer. He ran up on me, act like he wanted to physically throw me out the store, yelling this shit. He, he ran, he ran. This nigga sprinted around the aisle to come in just to get to me. And I'm like, sir, like you're extra the fuck out. Which he is. The nigga's like five feet. I'm sure he probably is a dropout. Don't got much education. You know, this is his whole identity is wrapped up in working for Koreans and just being an extra out clerk, security guard. I don't know what the fuck the nigga is. He, he, he a little light-skinned, buff, bald-headed, older nigga that always wear wrestling shoes and knee pads and shit. And like he finna DDT somebody. I don't know what the fuck the nigga got going on. But anyway, I just want to say death to black overseers. Black people don't shop in places like this that want to make you act uh, like you have to be on eggshells and like you have to leave your shit at the front so they can watch you because you must be a thief. You came in with a bag, so you got to be a thief, right? Even though they got all kind of fucking cameras and shit. Nigga, get a loss prevention, motherfucker, and use your camera system and call it a fucking day. But I'm not finna get treated like a goddamn thief. But that's how they treat us, y'all. That's how This is what we got to wake up to, family. They, they set up shop in our community. And we're good enough to make money off of, but we get treated like shit. And that's why old dog shot that bitch. You see what I'm saying? And that's why relations are the way that they are between the two communities because of the way they set up shop in our community and then they turn around and treat us like shit. Okay, that's why I don't set foot in the sloss and swap meet. That's why I don't set foot in a Vietnamese nail shop. I don't set foot in no motherfucking Korean owned beauty supply like this. I go to international beauty supply on Slauson with the black women. I go on Crenshaw with my man right there next to Taco Mill, my nigga D that been there for years. So all my sisters, we gotta wake up. All y'all shopping here every second. You know what I mean? Don't let yourself get treated like that. Fuck that shit. They, oh, that's the store policy? Well, they need to change their motherfucking policy and use their motherfucking cameras and use the security guards that they got and do like every other fucking store do. When I go to any other store, I ain't got to put my shit down. You know what I'm saying? And the other side of town, I ain't got to leave my shit at the front door because I'm assumed to be a thief. That's the that's the underlying connotation of what they're telling you when they tell you you got to leave your shit at the front door. And the man going to say it. He said it himself. Yeah, because only black people, only black people want to act like that. I said, man, no, nah, only in the black community do we get fucking treated this way. Like I said, you look around, you go to the fucking gas station in the ghetto, you, you don't even have the option to use credit. What kind of shit is that? You can't even use a credit card, even with your fucking ID. You can't even use a goddamn credit card in the hood. You got to use a debit card. 
Because again, we're thieves and all we do is scheme and scam and do credit card fraud and, and steal shit out the fucking bargain center, right? And we steal shit from the fucking self-checkout, right? We cannot be trusted as a community. That is the message that they send it to us. Fuck this business. Fuck the little black security guard nigga that work here. I will be having some brothers come up here to holler at that man. You better believe it. And uh, any other females who got stories about this man, the man try to act like he was going to get aggressive on you, put hands on you, whatever, y'all tap in with me. Because uh, this nigga could get, you know, hollered at in a real way. Peace.